Now we just saw that a galvanometer cannot be used directly as as a current measuring device, as an ammeter, because 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 of two reasons. First of all, it is extremely sensitive, cannot carry a current more than say a microampere, and if it carries more more current, you start getting heated up due to the high resistance, and and may burn. And secondly, because it has got a very high resistance, goes into a series circuit and kind of disturbs the whole total resistance and then measures the current, which is absolutely useless for us because it is not the true picture of the current that was flowing without the galvanometer. Now, both of these traits can be taken care of, of by doing an alteration in the galvanometer. So, so this is our galvanometer. We represent it by a small circle and then write a G inside it. Okay. So, so it is kind of this. This is a galvanometer, right? Now, this has got a limitation. It won't carry a, a lot of current. Still, it has to be in the circuit. Now, what is what is the way out? The way out is to bypass this current. Okay? The way out is to bypass this current. Okay, I do not... Uh, the, the current, the incoming current should be, should be like this. It should come here, but it should not go there, right? It should not go to the galvanometer. So it can be bypassed, right? So I I can bypass it. And how do I bypass it? Okay, I can bypass it by connecting a very small resistance in parallel to it, right? So so the resistance that I connect is very, 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 very small. Okay, a very small resistance that I call R shunt SH okay in parallel in parallel with the galvanometer which has a resistance of resistance RG okay so so one thing is taken care of that, that and this resistance has to be very very small so that most of the current passes through the resistance mm -hmm. and only the only the the only the the rated current passes through this and that rated current may be say a very small value say say uh, say 0 0.001 ampere or, or, or even less right so only the rated passes here the, the excess so out of this I that I'm trying to measure, the I rated passes here and the rest, the rest of this current, I, I call it as I or, or I write it here, I minus I rated goes through this, right? Now one, one problem taken care of, fine. How about the second problem? Okay, and, and let us try to see, so we now have a very small resistance, a very, very small resistance in parallel with a high resistance, right? Now, if, if you go back to the, to the theory of the parallel resistors, okay, so, so if we have, if we have, say, if I have a parallel resistor, right? So we had seen that its equivalent resistance is given by, if say this is R1, this is R2, then the equivalent resistance R is given by R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2, right? Mm -hmm. This is the equivalent resistance. And we had seen one more thing. 
the equivalent resistance is smaller than the smallest resistance that that you have even if there are 10 resistors in parallel mm -hmm. so so let us let's take an example so suppose if i have this resistance as 1 this is 3 then r r comes out to be the product of these which is 3 upon 4 which is less than 1 which is less than lesser than the mm -hmm. least right so so or, or say i i kind of use two other values let's say let's say a very small value say 0 0.1 and and say 5 okay so so what is r r is 0 0.1 into 5 upon upon point 0.1 plus 5 okay so there is there is 0.5 divided by 5.1 right so so it is less than 0 0.1 okay 0 0.5 upon 5.1 is actually less than is actually less than 1 okay so so 0 0.1 divided by 5.1 is is about 0 0.019 right so it is about 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 0.5 divided by 5.1 is about 0 0.098 i'm sorry 0 0.09 8 ohms right now, now that is definitely less than 0 0.1 so so what have we done since we have put a very small resistor here and it is in parallel with rg so the net resistance of this combination which is actually going to be put in the circuit and the circuit is going to to look at this resistance as the as the parallel resistance of both these that will become a very very small value at least smaller than this rsh okay so so both these things are taken care of in one stroke by this modification so so what does rsh do rsh diverts the the current in excess of of the i rated that flows through the in excess of the i rated that flows through the galvanometer right the excess current is taken in by by the rsh fine and the, and the second thing is that and the second thing is that and the second thing is that RSH in parallel with the galvanometer reduces with, with the galvanometer reduces the total resistance to a to a very small value and hence does not alter the resistance of the circuit much right of the circuit much so so both these things have been taken care of in one go right fine now now let us try to solve a, a problem let's say Let's say, look at a problem like this. 
so let us try to solve a problem like this right so the problem says that that we have a galvanometer with a coil resistance of 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 15 ohms and the meter shows full scale deflection for a current of 4 milliamperes how will you convert this meter into an ammeter of range 0 to 6 amperes so we have a galvanometer okay we have a galvanometer with with a with a coil resistance of of of, of 15 ohms right so this is my galvanometer right and an rg is 15 ohms okay and it has a full scale deflection okay fsd is normally a conventional short form for full scale deflection so it is it is 4 milliamperes right and what do you do you want to so so i i have taken into account this data and and this data fine so galvanometer with the coil resistance and the full scale deflection of 4 milliamperes how you convert this into an ammeter of range 0 to 6 amperes that means i want my incoming current to be 6 amperes right mm -hmm. but out of that i want only only 4 milliamperes to be going here right so out of this i want this device to be carrying 4 milliamperes which is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 which is nothing but 0 0.004 amperes right so i want only 0 0.004 amperes to be to be going through this device and the rest i'll have to bypass right so the rest of the current should go through through the rsh that we discussed right now about right so so this should be this this should be some some very small some very small some very small current some very small resistor r s h and this should be carrying okay by 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 the by the kcl this is 0 0.004 amperes right mm -hmm. so 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 i will be carrying 6 minus 0 0.004 so 6 minus 0 0.004 is equal to 5.996 amperes right so so the so 5.996 amperes has to go through this and and when we say how will you convert it into an ammeter they actually want you to first of all tell what you will do with the galvanometer mm -hmm. and what will be the value of this rsh right so, so the first thing that I tell them is, is we'll connect, we connect a very small resistor RSH in parallel with the galvanometer, right? That is the first thing. Now it's pretty simple to calculate this value. How? By, by just understanding one, one concept that we studied in electricity. Across these two points, the potential drop is the same. Is it not? Across these two, this, this, this and this, if this is the potential, mm -hmm. then, then across this, the potential is the same and across this, the potential is the same. After all, that is why they are in parallel. And since they are in parallel, the potential has to be the same. So, 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 and, and what is the potential we have? So, so the second thing is that RSH 
into 5.996 is equal to 15 into 0 0.004. Is it not? Because 15 IR, the IR drop across this arm is 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 IR, right? 15, 15 is the is the resistance here, and and 0 0.004 is the current that passes through this. So there is a drop of IR. IR drop is 15 into 0 0.004, and the drop through this is 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 supposed to be IR. That is R is such into into 5.996, isn't it? So RSH is equal to 15 into 0 0.004 divided by divided by 5.996 right and and I can I can run the calculator. So let us try to calculate this. So it is 15, 15 into 0 0.004. Okay, okay, that is 0 0.06, and that is to be divided by 5.996. So so that gives me. 0 0.01 triple zero. So 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 it is kind of 0.01. Okay. Now now what is suggested in these cases is you should not go into that complicated uh, calculation. What you should do is you should assume that. Okay. You should assume that this is six, right? So so what happens? It is 15 into 0 0.004 upon six. And and this is 0 0.06, right? So so upon six is nothing but 0 0.01, right? 0 0.01. So that is the amount of current. That, that, that is the value of RSH that we should be we should be connecting. So so uh, to, so RSH is is 0 0.01, right? Now what happens? What you get from here? Okay, what we get from here is slightly greater value of RSH, right? Because this is less than 6. Mm -hmm. I am calculating it for 6. So if this is fail safe, in what sense? In the sense that, that if I keep this resistance smaller than the intended one, okay, mm -hmm. smaller than, than what comes from here, more current will be diverted from here okay and, and this will become lesser than 0 0.004 ampere so 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 there is no design flaw in the sense that it may be carrying say 0 0.00399 amperes of current right mm -hmm. I, I i do not have the flexibility of increasing this rsh that that is what we should understand because if you increase this rsh more current starts getting diverted to this mm -hmm. so this calculation is pretty much in order right this calculation so so this calculation is pretty much in order so the value of rsh that you'll be applying across connecting across the galvanometer is this and that will that will work fine when you are measuring a current of six amperes and and we very well know that it will be introducing introducing a, a resistance that is less than 0 0.01 which is which is pretty good a value so so the net resistance of this is 15 and 0 0.01 in parallel is fifth is this right so so this is less than 0 0.01 ohms had i introduced the galvanometer directly it would have straight away given a resistance of 15 ohms from there i have reduced it to 0 0.01 ohm a fair enough thing to do right